In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Puppet Warp tool. Now, the Puppet Warp, which is similar to the Free Transform tool, lets you alter and change shapes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a shape. I'm going to move it right here and kind of get it, I don't know, centralized. Now, the Puppet Warp tool is located uh, with the free transform tool, it looks like a little pin. And what you do with the puppet warp is on the shape that you have selected, it's going to add this mesh with already a bunch of little anchors uh, set inside of it. And I can, uh, each of these anchors is like a little pin in a piece of fabric, keeping that fabric there. And as I move that pin, it stretches the fabric. And I can select multiple points and adjust these, as well as I can add new points by clicking on it and shifting things. And if I use shift, I can select a couple of points and move them all around together. As well as if I click on a point, I can delete it. And that will delete a little bit of how it's uh, moving the other points around it. As well as I can click on a point and it has this little dotted line around it and I can rotate to those to give it just a little bit of a twist, depending on how I've set up things. And when I'm happy with that, I can come and I can click off of the, uh, the Puppet Warp tool and it makes all of those permanent. And I can come back to the Puppet Warp and it'll kind of remember the things that are on there. Sometimes it might forget it, but that's okay. You can just rechange things or recreate shapes. Much like the Free Transform tool, if I create other shapes into this, it will uh, warp them as a whole if I select each of those shapes. So I'm going to create these three shapes, one of them touching, one of them not. And then I'm going to change the Puppet Warp tool. And notice that it gave a mesh to all three of them. While I'm on one shape, if it's not touching any of the other shapes, it's only going to affect that singular shape. But if I have two shapes that are touching each other, notice how they kind of merge together and I can move them as a group in relation to each other. And then when I move out of it, much like the transform tool, it wants to group them together, but I can always ungroup them by right clicking them and going to ungroup, coming to object, coming to ungroup, or using command shift G to ungroup them. And then I can move them individually again. And then when I use the puppet warp, again, it'll mesh over the things that I have selected. So that is the puppet warp tool.